So in this video we are going to see how to create a virtual machine in VMware Workstation. So I have this virtual uh, VMware Workstation. I have three options to connect to a remote server. I can connect open a virtual machine uh, like here or create a new virtual machine. So let's try a new virtual machine. I'm going to go with typical create a virtual few easy steps and then in the next video we'll see the custom what's uh, in the custom option so I have two options installer disk image or operating system later next I it's asking what kind of machine it is let's get uh, Microsoft Windows Linux or VMware ESX that's a bare bone uh, hyper one uh, sorry uh, hypervisor uh, one type one and this is other so I have all windows here like what, whatever I need machine of course I have to provide my own IS so we know from the previous step and where it's gonna create so I'm gonna make it in F drive added preference Let's go. Okay, default. I will make sure. Okay, so it says that it's already there. I'm gonna make it because I I was doing trial and error uh, on this video, so that's why it's already exists. Again, I'm gonna make it 50 GB. If you remember from my Hyper V, and that's uh, how much I like. I'm gonna make it a single file rather than multiple files. Looks good. We can customize hardware here. So the maximum is 42, probably because I have 48 installed and it's a host machine receiving 6 GB to host machine. I'm gonna go with 4 GB. Uh, processor, two cores is good enough. CD I can use or ISO image. Um, for the installation. Network adapter is NAT, network uh, address translation and it will be the shared to the host IP address. Host only is a private network and specified I don't um, know right now but uh, it's a little bit uh, you can see that is a little bit different than uh, we, what we are used to in Hyper-V. This one is I know bridged. It's I mean this will connect to the physical network uh, router. USB is present and get connected. And actually, when I run the uh, virtual machine or VMware workstation, uh, it shows me all my USB connected to my host machine, and it offers to connect to them or tells me that I can fit sound auto detect the if you remember in Hyper-V sound was not working in our virtual machines printer is present but we need to enable it in the preference and then displays there and we can add a few other things by clicking this add button TPM and all these goodies I'm gonna finish oh it, it added okay I can remove that and I removed that let's close it finish it and this is the one second one if I click on it let's see what happens state powered off so I have to power on this here and Now it's trying to go finding hard drive. There's nothing in hard drive. Trying to CD-ROM. You remember we did not provide an ISO, so it's not gonna go anywhere. We all we have to do is shut it off now, because uh, we will see in the next video how to install it. If this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one.